I'm the focal point of Africa for Afro-Asian Women Network, which which we founded uh, with some of my friends in Indonesia. In Indonesia. And so I'm I'm working for that program on uh, for that organization here in Africa. So we are running a project of environmental and biodiversity conservation for both women and children, including men. I am an environmentalist. My community's experienced a dry spell. Now we are trying to do climate change adaptation measures. And the climate change adaptation measures we are doing right now, indigenous tree species reforestation and fruit growing, which is very helpful for our community, for, for our community members. And we are involving children. So we are planting the trees and we are trying to make sure that we minimize cutting down the trees. So before if before you cut down a tree, if you need to, have, you would have planted one uh, at least three months back, mm -hmm. so that there is a tree coming up before you cut, cut another, if you really need to. Otherwise, we are trying to make sure that they plant trees and they know that we don't have the trees and that's why we cannot have the rain, so they cannot have food, food yield, mm -hmm. so they know. Even the children understand that when you have a, a, enough trees, they form rainfall, and then you have this, the, the, the rainfall, plant the crops, then you have food. And one like last thing, they own the trees. That is where I want them to go, to own the environment, not to say they are my trees. They know it's their trees. It's not mine. They own the environment, and then they conserve biodiversity. But when I went to college, it was significant that I went back into me, mm -hmm. that I have to come out and do something to face reality whether challenging or not that is what Cody told me to be very strong to stand up for myself before I even stand up for others now I am able to be there even when tasks are challenging even when the group is chaotic I am there